So let's get started with this example. Right, so I've got a new unity scene and in that scene I've got two spheres. So these are just unity basic spheres uh, that I've just gone right click and 3D object add sphere twice. I've also taken the camera and for the camera setting set it to a solid color with a background of black so that we can see the line that we're trying to draw. Now the first thing I would like to attempt to do is to be able to put my mouse down on these spheres and actually move them around. Now by moving them around I want to be able to click on it and move it in the same plane as the camera plane. Okay, so that they move you know, across the screen and up and down, but we're not into the, the screen at all. So we're going to start by asking Muse for some code to do that. Okay, so here's Muse open, and I'm going to say I have a game object, and I would like to be able to move it around using the mouse. When I hold down the left mouse button I want to be able to select the game object and then as I drag the mouse I want the object to move in the plane of the camera, which I guess is equivalent to screen space. Uh, and I think that's probably about enough. I want the object to move in the plane of the camera. Yeah, sure. All right, so here's my first prompt. Now I've tried to be as specific as possible and give as much detail as possible. So we're using the left mouse button Okay, so that's important of which mouse button I want that I'm going to click on the object to select it. I'm going to drag with the mouse and then I want the object to move in the plane of the camera. So I'm very clear about how I want that to go. Right, so let's see what Muse comes back with for that. And hopefully it's going to give me some code that I will put onto my game objects that I want to register a mouse click on. All right, so here's my response. Let's go back up to the top to see what it says. So it's first of all saying to achieve the movement of a game object using the mouse while using the legacy input manager. And so there's something I didn't actually specify. Uh, I didn't say whether I wanted to use the old input manager or the new input manager. In this case, we'll use the legacy input manager because it's kind of already built in and easier to use without a lot of setting up. Uh, but if you were using the new input manager, then you'd want to specify that exactly in your prompt. Okay, so uh, let's see. So number one here is detect mouse click. First, you need to detect if the left mouse button is pressed. Okay, we know that. And it gives us the code that I'm going to need to do that with. And then we calculate the movement um, within the camera plane. So it gives me a sample script that I can use. Okay, called drag object. And it says up here, attach this script to the game object you want to move. Right, so we need to create a script called drag object and then put this into it. So I'm going to copy this. Now you could also save it, remember, uh, but that's going to give you some sort of extra artifacts, at least in this particular version, around your code. So for now, I'm just going to go in here and do this myself. So let's create a C sharp script. We will call it drag object like that. Then open that up. Then just replace all of the code that is in there with the copied code that I got from Muse. Okay, so just checking I've got no errors. Let's save this. We'll go back into Unity. Then select the spheres and drag and drop that onto it. So drag that over here and then select this sphere and drag that over there. Now I've not looked through that code at all to see if it works. So we're about to see 
whether it is going to actually work. So press play. Okay, so I should be able to click and move something. Now, well, you can see that when I'm moving it, I am moving okay in the X direction, but the plane that it has moving for up movements is actually wrong. And when I click on it, actually, it's, let's just start that again. I want to show you what's going on. That the object seems to be getting further away. So if we go like that, it is moving up and down and it is moving left and right, but it's getting deeper into the scene. Now I know why it's doing that, but let's see if Muse can figure that out. So we come back into the chat and I'm going to say that, okay, while I am attempting to move the game object around, let's say um, horizontally and vertically with respect to the screen, the game object is also moving back into the screen and getting further away. Okay, let's see if it can help me fix this issue up. Right, so it's come back and it says, it sounds like the issue you're encountering involves the game object not just moving laterally in the intended plane, but also moving back and forward along the camera's depth, which yes, it is doing that. So uh, to ensure that your game object only moves horizontally and vertically with respect to the screen and doesn't move deeper into the scene or towards the camera, you can adjust the plane on which you're projecting the mouse movement. Here's how you can modify your existing script. Okay, so here's my new script. Now it's only given me the update, which is, I guess, good because I don't get the entire script and I only need to copy the update. So for this, I'm going to copy the code for the update. Then we're going to go back into the code. I'm going to find the update, which is just here. And if I just roll that up, I'll be able to select it and go control V and paste that in there. Okay, now it's also giving me this sort of extra bit of uh, commentary, which we don't really need in there, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so with that done, let's save. So uh, we want to control S that. Now I'll come back into Unity and we'll press play and see if these objects will react the way that I want them to. Okay, so okay, so now they're not moving <laughs> at all in any direction. Okay, so let's go back to Muse and see if it can sort this out. Right, so come down the bottom. Uh, now the game objects aren't moving at all. Hopefully, because we're still in the same chat, it's remembering the context that we're working within so that it knows that we're trying to move game objects using the mouse. Okay, so it's coming back for me to check some things in here. Now, I know that we pretty much have all our game objects set up correctly because we could move them before, but when we modified the code, it stopped us from moving them at all. Okay, so we haven't done anything with our actual setup, but let's have a look what Muse is saying. So we want a collider verification. So make sure the game objects you are trying to drag has a collider on it. Now we know it does because it worked before. Camera setup. Confirm that the camera is correctly set up and positioned to view the game objects. Well, yes it is. Tagging and layer issues. Ensure your game object is properly tagged or assigned to a layer that is not being ignored by physics. Okay, well, it wasn't before, so that can't be the issue. Um, script errors. Revisit the script to ensure there are no syntax errors. Well, we know that because it actually ran and we didn't get anything. Um, and then we want the physics manager settings. Check if there are any settings in the physics manager that might be affecting that. Now, Again, that shouldn't be happening because we haven't changed anything in any settings. We've only just changed that update code. Raycasting, 
and plane calculations. Ensure that your ray casting logic is correct and that the plane calculations for the dragging operation are set up correctly or properly. And then it's, here's a snippet of how you might add debugging to check some of these issues. Right, so rather than giving us code that has fixed the issue, because it's kind of assuming there is no issue, it's allowing us to put in some debug code to see if we're actually, you know, using it. So uh, something I've just noticed down here is that it's only given partial update which is here and it's given this code here remaining code of whatever was in the update and whether or not this works we'll come back and have a look in the next lecture